Hello, I'm Virginia Beach Mayor Bobby Dyer. And I'm Vice Mayor Jim Wood. We want to thank you for joining us as we come together to observe May 31st, 2021, marking two years since our community experienced a tragedy that robbed us of 12 beautiful souls and left our hearts in pieces. It's hard to believe it's been two years, but each new day brings us another step closer to healing. And on this new day, we come together in peace and remembrance. First, please join us in a silent moment as the Virginia Police Honor Guard lowers the flags of the Commonwealth, City of Virginia Beach, and 531 Remembrance as we remember our precious 12. Tragic events of 531 changed us, and although we cannot change what has happened, we do have the power to shape how we go forward. To further our healing as a community and to ensure that the names of those we lost are remembered in the years to come, I, Mayor of the City of Virginia Beach, issue this proclamation. Whereas two years ago, citizens of Virginia Beach experienced an unspeakable tragedy that resulted in the loss of life of Lakita C. Brown, Ryan Keith Cox, Tara Welsh Gallagher, Mary Louise Mary Lou Crutzinger Gale, Alexander Mikhail Gusev, Joshua O. Hardy, Michelle Missy Langer, Richard H. Nettleton, Catherine A. Lusick Nixon. Christopher Kelly Rapp. Herbert Burt Snelling, Jr. And Robert Bobby Williams. And whereas five others were injured, four critically, and many more were seriously impacted, including people who worked in building two of the Virginia Beach Municipal Center, family members, friends, city employees, people who rendered emergency medical aid, both on the scene and at area hospitals, police who responded to the scene stopping the rampage and prevented the further loss of lives. 
people who staff the Emergency Operations Center and Family Assistance Center, city leaders and elected officials who help guide the city's recovery efforts, and members of the Virginia Beach community and beyond who have demonstrated compassion and generosity through many acts of kindness. And whereas, in the aftermath of this tragedy, people in the community and beyond called on everyone to show love for VB. That phrase was adopted for use in a number of places across our city, homes, businesses, schools, parks, and beyond. And whereas we still mourn the 12 lives lost so suddenly two years ago, and we pray for all those who were traumatized by this brutal act of violence and continue to seek healing. And whereas we are forever changed and we will never forget. We continue to pledge to commit to honoring those we lost through acts of service and acts of kindness. Now, therefore, I, Robert M. Dyer, Mayor of the City of Virginia Beach, do hereby proclaim May 31, 2021, Love for VB Dedication Day in Virginia Beach, and I call on all citizens to remember the victims of the May 31, 2019 tragedy and pledge to honor them through volunteer acts of service. I further order that the flag of the city of Virginia Beach shall be flown at half staff in all city buildings and on city grounds from May 28 through sunset on May 31, 2021. In witness whereof, I hear unto set my hand and cause the official seal of the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia to be affixed this 21st day of May, 2021. To those who are healing, we wish you peace and comfort. You know, in the weeks following 531, one of the things we did was decorate rocks with messages of hope and healing. The thought behind it was symbolic, of course, of the ways we look to our friends and family to be our rocks when times are tough. But that activity became a really important part of how many of us expressed our sorrow and still our love for VB. This next video is inspired by the words and memories provided by beloved family members, colleagues, and friends of our precious 12. Following that will be a musical selection from the Virginia Beach Chorale performing a piece in honor of those we lost and those who were wounded, entitled Resplendent Light, a piece that the chorale itself commissioned to commemorate this moment. Rocks, these unique babies of Mother Earth, can be pebbles, stones, and even boulders. Despite their flair for originality, a rock's unassuming nature leads people to innocently walk by them without a glance. The mere sight of a rock tells you nothing about what that rock has experienced, nothing about its strength or the heaviness it bears. They're solid providing a firm foundation that humbly supports the beautiful things. And how did this one get so smooth? Likely the result of sustaining friction in challenging times. The 12 that were taken from us were uniquely solid, providing a foundation of stability, protection, and strength to their families friends, colleagues, and community. Their memories continue to empower wounded hearts. It is in that reflection that many have surmised of their absent loved one that still, you are my rock. As our rock, we once counted on their superpowers. Now we call on the heavens to find ways to go on without them. Superpowers like laughter that 
floods a room and illuminates the brighter side. Or a quiet authority, an adventurous spirit that nudges us towards invention. We will not forget that everything needed lived in your smile or that you were noble and upright, a knight in shining armor, no horse necessary. Your unconditional love, unparalleled kindness, and unshakable faith continue to bear fruit and offer a healing hug to those who grieve you. Because you were a good leader, others will find the courage to lead. And they will do it with the integrity of a modest hero. For you were more than a scholar. You loved people. And together we will stand in your shadows of wisdom and attempt to embody a heart dripping with character. And we will never forget that your peaceful spirit will continue to sing us forward with a hymn that rivals the angels. How fitting it is to write their names on rocks in the hopes that their inspiration and energy never fade. Like rocks, we who remain have the ability to hold on to the history left behind by each person who has touched us. And although rocks can easily be taken for granted because they offer much and need so little, the 12 who were taken from us, their memories have become a part of who we are and leave us grateful to have known them. When we kiss memorable photos or find their faces hiding in the clouds, let it remind us to tell those that qualify, thank you for being my rock.
a more moving tribute. Thank you to the friends and family members for sharing your hearts with us and to the Virginia Beach Chorale for that beautiful and uplifting musical selection. May it help those who mourn and find comfort in resplendent light. When the tragic shooting presented us with a burden we might have thought was too great to bear, the people of Virginia Beach showed up because we are Virginia Beach and that's what we do. They became the comfort and strength for others as they reached out in kindness, in prayer, and out of love for VB. Those acts of kindness define us by helping us remember those we lost. So let's keep it going. Whether you volunteer, carry out a thoughtful gesture, or offer words of compassion to a wounded heart, kindness can ease the weight of the world. Just listen to the words of people just like you and I who have chosen to remember our fallen through acts of kindness by volunteering. On Fridays, I uh, pass out donuts to individuals that I've connected with who are survivors of Building 2. What I do, it's simple, and I just want them to know uh, that they're not forgotten, and that's important to me. After we had the tragedy in May, they said they needed therapy dogs, and I was so fortunate that um, we had Peyton because we could go visit that summer every week with a group of the survivors. And so I was hoping in some small way we would um, bring them a little comfort. As opposed to the um, counselors, the trained counselors that came to the city of Virginia Beach, even though I have training through a group called the International Critical Incident Foundation in Baltimore, most of my training is practical experience. So I brought a different perspective to uh, trauma counseling than the therapist did. What I do for the city is I volunteer at the um, Joint Use Library here on the um, TCC campus. It's an amazing experience. I have no regrets at all about doing this. Um, working in one of the visiting with some of the survivors during that summer after and uh, one of the ladies came to talk to us and um, she just told me what she was going through and stuff and she was petting Peyton and she was talking to me and she put her head on my shoulder it just... so I just felt like we offered her a little comfort there the reason that the survivors of the tragedy are special to me, uh, first is that they recognize that I have been there and that I'm a safe place and that now I recognize they have been there. The need to help them get through that uh, is of great importance. At some point, your actions or lack of actions, your words, your deeds, how you live your life will be reflected back to you in the face of your children and your grandchildren.
The reason I'm inspired to give back is because of how I was raised by my parents and my um, Catholic faith that was instilled in me. My parents always told me to like give back and be nice to everyone, and I just really wanted to continue to do that as I got older. It's incredible, just the people who live here, this, the, the, so much diversity and so many different uh, walks of life, and backgrounds, and, and positive people. If that's what you look for, you'll find it. I've always enjoyed volunteering because if you are having a bad day or things aren't going quite right and you go in to volunteer and help somebody else do something else, it takes you outside of yourself and you kind of forget about what's going on and it really, it really makes your life better too. The thing that I have and that a lot of retirees have um, in, in defining kindness is time. You have time that is not delegated to other priorities. To those people who are hesitant about volunteering, I just have to say one thing. That feeling of like helping others is just amazing. I wouldn't give the world for it. We have a choice of what we want to do in life and how we want to live it. We pass that legacy on to the next generation. It's not healthy to be angry or bitter. Um, it's healthy to just connect with people. Um, because they're worth it. You know, people are worth it. The words don't exist that can make pain go away instantly, but you can make things better. Like the people we just heard from, we can all show that we care by being helpful in some concrete way. If you need some kindness ideas, take a look at the webpage loveforvb.com. There you can read the bios of the 12 we so tragically lost and find out what they cared about. Let them inspire you to make change throughout the city and beyond, change for the better. As we bring this ceremony to a close, let us continue to further this culture of kindness by keeping each other in mind with the intentions of building up, not tearing down, encouraging, not harming, and inspiring rather than overlooking. As individuals, being the best may not be possible, but together, being our best always is. Wishing the Virginia Beach community peace, wholeness, and love for VB. We thank you for your time.